New tonight at 10, there's a breakthrough treatment for severe asthma sufferers. Bronchial thermoplasty is the first FDA approved procedure for severe asthma. Orlando Health was the first hospital in Central Florida to offer the outpatient procedure. And Fox 35's Kimberly Wiggins has what you need to know. A day outside means serious business for Doug Dillon. The self-published author loves to write his books on his patio or walk to clear his head. But his asthma made it difficult. He was diagnosed when he was 10. I'm 71. I've been dealing with asthma for 60 years. Doctors say Dillon's lung capacity recently dropped to 35%. The average is 80. But I would have one or two to three attacks a year. And my doctor this year finally said, Doug, you've got to do something. Dillon's doctor referred him to Dr. Mark Vollenweeder at Orlando Health. Good morning. Dr. V says ideal candidates have a history of asthma with no real way to control it. They're still being short of breath. They're still missing days at work, missing days at school. First, patient's history are reviewed. Mouth all the way around. Then they must take a breathing test. And blast it out. Keep if they're selected, going, doctors will schedule three treatments spaced four to six weeks apart. Manufacturer Boston Scientific sent us this demonstration. An endoscope with a catheter is pushed through the bronchial tubes. It gently heats up the airways. Over time, it'll reduce the amount of excess smooth muscle, meaning more room for air to flow through. It's great. It's, uh, some of these patients have had wheezing and shortness of breath for 40, 50 years, and now they're walking, now they're jogging, now they're, some patients actually return to work when they were on disability. Dylan's lung capacity increased 31% just six weeks after his last treatment. I can do things in my yard. I can go out and work in my yard for five hours and do what used to take me two or three days because I go out there and almost pass out. Um, those are the stories that keep me doing this. Dr. V says one complete treatment should last a lifetime. I wish to have it was a kid in my yard. In Orlando, Kimberly Wiggins, Fox 35 News. Right now, that procedure has only been approved for adults with asthma. you got to be at least 18.